going on, the friends? My name is m 2 Grades, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver for the Nintendo DS. Last time we left off, we uh, defeated Blaine and Blue, uh, and that wraps up all of the gym leaders in the Kanto region. And then we went to Professor Oak, and he gave us the agent for Rock Climb, as well as permission to go to Mount Silver to take on the Ultimate Challenge. Uh, now, we are not going to be doing that right away, even though we can, uh, but there is a lot of stuff that are open to us now that we have all 16 badges, and most of that are all exclusive to Heart Gold and Silver only, and not Gold, Silver, and Crystal. So I'm going to be showing all those off, and then take on the final challenge, so there's still a few more episodes left for, uh, the playthrough. Um, but we'll do the best we can. Uh, this part in particular, what I'm doing, is, uh, exclusive to Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Um, or, it, well, you can do this in, you can do this in Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Uh, so, um, what, I showed this up earlier in the LP, um, but we weren't able to really do much with it, because, um, we didn't have, like, the resources, nor were we strong enough to take these guys on. Uh, and that is Entei and Raiko. Uh, we encountered them in the Burn Tower, and then they started running all over the place. So, what's going to happen is, as you can see, there are two faces, um, on the map here in your Pokegear. You have to use the, the Pokegear's map in order to track these in order to track these guys down if you want to have a chance at, at looking for these guys. Um, sometimes you can encounter them by just by just pure chance, um, unexpectedly, which is which is what we showed earlier. Uh, or you can just actually try and find them. So uh, what's gonna happen is basically um, every time you change locations, um, or encounter a certain amount of wild Pokemon at a time, these guys are going to change locations. And that is going- that can make things really annoying to find- uh, to find them. Um, so... You just gotta just keep running around until they actually stop moving at a route to a different route. And then once you're in the same route as them, it's a matter of just hoping that you find, or that you actually find them. Uh, so, um... Yeah, so these Pokemon are categorized under what we call roaming Pokemon. And so, uh, roaming Pokemon, they're scattered around the region, and when you encounter them, uh, the first thing that they're going to do is run away. Uh, which can make things really annoying, and really, like, obnoxiously tedious. Uh, fortunately, there is a way to really, to deal with them, and that is by having a Pokemon that have, that has the ability, um, me, or that has the ability Arena Trap, which, uh, a Diglett can learn that. I believe Magmite can also learn that. Uh, and then you also want a po or you want a Pokemon that can learn Mean Look. Um, which, as you can see in my party, I have a Murkrow. Uh, Murkrow can learn Mean Look. And so, I gave, and so I caught a Murkrow off screen and trained it up to, uh, a level where it learns Mean Look. Uh, so, uh, that way, it, I can make things a little bit easier on myself, because none of my Pokémon can learn Mean Luck. Uh, in my original LP, I used to have an Umbreon, and Umbreon can learn Mean Luck. So I would've used that, without having to catch a temporary Pokémon. Uh, but, um... Yeah, that will help increase your chances. And also, Roman Pokémon tend to be really fast, so I recommend giving 
the, your front Pokemon the Quick Claw. And so I gave Murkrow the, the Quick Claw. So, once you have all that set up, it is a matter of trying to just look for these guys. Um, and the fortunate thing is they will always appear in a route. It's never a city nor a cave. They will always appear in a route. So, um, that is, I believe that is everything that I have to say about that. Um, so now we just have to just look for these guys and uh, hope that I find them. Um, this looks promising though. Uh, let's hope that he, let's hope that he didn't move. And okay, he's still there, so now we just gotta look for it. So I have to wait for my repel to wear off, and then I have to pray that I find Raikou, who is in this route. So as you can see, I encountered a Pokemon, it did not, I did not find Raikou. And that is, that can happen sometimes, and it gets really frustrating after a while. So, you just gotta... I don't know. There is no real good strategy to this, so you just kind of have to. You just kind of have to just hope. It's completely random. All of this, which is very unfortunate. So, yeah. All right. So we encountered Entei. So you can tell if you encounter the Pokemon. Just from the mu just from the like unusual World Book One music. So this is Entei's music. Uh, Raikou also has his own music as well. Um, they sound similar, but they're different. Uh, so uh, first thing you want to do is if you have a Pokemon that has meat that has meat look, use it right away. Uh, it is also advised to have a Quick Claw how, um, uh, that you give the Pokemon a Quick Claw, just so you're guaranteed to be faster than the uh, Pokemon itself. Um, and uh, then do whatever it takes to weaken the Pokemon. Um, and uh, yeah. So Entei is on level 40, uh, fire type with Roar, Fire Spin, uh, Flamethrower, and Stomp. Now, unfortunately, Murkrow isn't really that powerful, so I can very easily get destroyed by this Entei. If that happens, then uh, Mean Lunt's effect will wear out. And oh my god, that was insanely close. Um, wow. Okay, I that that was that was crazy. So now we just gotta catch it and um, hope that it does not use roar. Because if it uses a roar, it's over. Um, so and and also I and like I said earlier, you cannot switch out. Otherwise, uh, Milo's effect is going to wear out. Which is going to suck. So, um, just do the best we can. I'm going to heal up just so Murkrow doesn't die. And, um, that's all I got to say. So, hopefully, we catch it. No! And that's what happens. Ah! <sighs> Sup! This is Ralph. How are you? What do you what do you say battle to uh, what do you say to a battle with me? Good, you're gonna do it. For a kid, you're quite uh, agreeable. Route 32 is is the spot. I'll do that later. Okay, so this time we found Raikou. Uh, Raikou is on level 40 electric type with uh. Roar, Spark, Quick Attack, and Reflect. Um, so, again, first thing, use uh, Meme Luck. Uh-oh, it has Spark. Um, that can be bad. Uh, oh god. Oh god. No way. 
Um, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna destroy Murkrow, unfortunately. Um, let's use a full restore here. I probably should have caught like a Ghastly and Evolve to a Haunter and TJ Beanbook instead. That probably would have been the better situation. I don't know. Well, but we'll 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 just do we'll just do do things this way. I I hope. All right, the claw is kicking in. We're going for faint attack. Okay, and it's going for reflect. Maybe I can use wing attack, and it'll still be fine. Let's do, let's do that. Oh, okay, good. Good enough, good enough. Alright, here we go. Time to catch it. There it is! Ah! Oh my gosh! Oh my god. Alright, that is one down, one more to go. A Pokemon that races across the land while barking a cry that sounds like crashing thunder. Scary. <sighs> okay, now it's on to look for Ente. Oh baby, first try! <laughs> oh man, well, not first try, not really first try, but first try on this encounter. Oh my god, that's insane. A Pokemon that races across the land, it is said that one is born every time a new volcano appears. Whoa, there's a lot of Entei's, I bet. Wow, alright, so that is the two legendary Pokemon that you could find. Uh, by, by roaming here in Johto. Um, and, um, yeah, now we no longer need Murkrow. So, I am going to check out the next thing that we can do. So, be right back. Okay, I am back. And now we are here in Fuchsia City. And this seems a little weird going this direction, but. We go ahead and head all the way over to this side. Then we get some pretty cool, I think, right? Is it over here? Yeah. Oh! Oh, look at that! Where's it going? Someone, not again! I'll be th I'll be there first next time. Having followed it here, I'm starting to understand what Suicune is after. To be honest, I would like to keep this information myself, but I want to be, be an honest trainer in front of Suicune. That's why I'm sharing a clue with you. It seems that Suicune prefers a hilly place near water, somewhere north. I don't know exactly where yet, but it will, it will be just you and me. Who will be first? I will challenge you! 
Ooh, I know so I know some place like that. All right, let's race. Okay, from Cerulean City, head up north, and we gotta avoid all. Well, we already fought all these trainers because we should have done that before, and then we make it here. Hey, you made it here really quickly. I am no match for you, as I predicted. Go ahead. Since I met you in the Burn Tower at Acrystic City, I sort of known that Suicune would choose you. Really? Take a take a look at it. Suicune is waiting for you. It has been waiting for a battle with a worthy trainer to whom it can entrust itself. Wow. So, just like that, you give in. Oh man, this music. Alright, this is Suicune, the third of the Legendary Beast Trio. Um, this is fortunately not a Ruby Pokemon, so this is less frustrating to deal with. Uh, so that's good. Uh, so this is Suicune, level 40, water type, with Aurora Beam, Gus, Miss, and Rain Dance. Uh, I'm a little afraid of taking, taking this thing out, so I'm just gonna switch out. Switch out the rocks this year. Uh, so in Gold and Silver, Suicune was a ro it, it was indeed a roaming Pokemon along with Entei and Raikou, so Suicune would be a pain to, do to deal with. Um... Oh crap! I forgot. I forgot about that. Well, that's not good. Hmm. Uh... I don't want to kill. I don't want to KO this thing. I'm gonna switch to Skarmory. Wow, I, I didn't think I put myself in such a bad situation like that, but, uh, because, <laughs> like, I'm really overleveled, so I'm really paranoid about K KOing. So, we're just gonna go for Stealing, which is a move not very effective to Suicune, in an attempt to, like, do as little damage as I can. It's looking pretty good, so that that's a good thing. Uh, but yeah, in Gold and Silver, it was a roaming Pokemon. In Crystal... Uh, you encounter Suicune in the in a dungeon that I haven't been to yet, uh, deep inside Ecritic City. Um, and in order to get Suicune, you need uh, both Entei and Reiko caught. Now I don't know what the I don't know the exact criteria for Suicune to appear like this, uh, but this sounds. Uh, but um, the point I'm doing Suic the Suicune now is seems a about accurate so that is so that so this so we're just catching Suicune now and I think it's just more convenient just uh, to like you know do just group up and say Reco and Suicune in this episode like this all right I'm gonna switch out to Roxas so that next time Mist is worn off I can use Flash to lower its accuracy that way it doesn't completely destroy me although destroying me is highly unlikely with how under with how under level it is but we'll see. Uh, but anyway, um, we don't have to worry about um, Suicune using Roar on us and destroying us or whatever. Um, I don't have to use a temporary Pokemon to like use Mean Looker or whatever. Uh, so it's just throwing Ultra Balls and hope that I catch it. So enjoy the show.
was getting a little worried there. I was running, running out of Ultra Balls. Um, good thing I restocked, I guess. Ah, wow. This Pokemon races across the land. It is said that North Winds will somehow blow whenever it appears. Does that mean it always blows north? Now, now that it has appeared here? Someone, you, t you two are truly amazing. I have never seen a battle this intense. I have no regrets. Farewell, Suicune. Farewell, someone. And that's it. I'll never see him again. I'm sorry for taking your dreams away of catching Suicune. But anyway... It is time to move on to the next thing. So let's do it. 